Hey guys, welcome back to M6 Trains. Today we have another review of the brand new MTH Premier 40 foot USRA double sheath box car. Let's get out of the box and take a look. Alrighty guys, here she is out of the box. As you can see here, this is the Lackawanna. Um, this is a custom run done by Mr. Muffins, but this thing looks very nice. I am a sucker for these early box cars that have the, the wood like um finish on these i think they look great i think they look just really cool and mth's finishing for the wood looks pretty good uh, i think um anyway this is more of a simple car um but still very nice you got your legible car detailing right there um the root of the phoebe snow looks very nice built 1955 it looks like i think so yep all your car information down there as well as everything's legible. But yeah, just really what drew, drew me to this car is, like I said, I'm a sucker for that wood finish that MTH uses on a lot of their cars. Um, as you can see here, you got some metal bracing with the rivets and stuff like that on the corners. And um, some grab irons there. The ends look pretty nice. Nothing crazy going on for the detailing, but you got some nice rivet detail and stuff like that. Um, ladders and whatnot. The other side's identical. I'm not exactly sure what these are supposed to be. I'm guessing they're like rollers or something for the doors, if I had to guess. And the do doors do open um, pretty easily. And the floor has that same wood-like finish in there. I know it's kind of hard to see with the light. There, see if that helps. But there is a wood-like finish on the flooring, which looks very nice. Um, Underneath is pretty good. You have some nice um, framing detail under here with some beams, which is pretty cool. Um, you have some pipe, some piping and um, cylinder detailing, which looks pretty cool as well. Nothing too crazy in detail, but still a very nice car. Um, but these are just starting to trickle in from MTH. You have a nice... Um, platform there for your brake wheel and stuff like that it looks very nice nice um piping detail again like i said so yeah it's a pretty nice car the roof is metal with the um wood walkway up there as well as you can see here pretty simple car but looks very nice these are pretty cool i do have a couple more of these on the way when they come in they should be pretty nice as well but yeah, kind of a simple box car, but I like the way these look. Pretty neat. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, I'm interrupting my own video here, but um, the first half, I guess, if you want to call it that, of the video for the Lackawanna car, um, that I made this that part a long time ago now. That car came in a while back, but I just got sidetracked with other videos and just kind of wasn't that important. I was also trying to wait for these guys to come in. Um, so I kind of, you know, put that on the back burner for now. But now that the rest of these cars are in, um, we're going to continue on for the rest of this video, which I wasn't really sure when would be. I was initially just going to post the Lackawanna video, but like I said, just got kind of sidetracked. Um, so now the rest of the cars are here. I actually only ordered these two. These two, I just kind of were last minute purchases, um, but we got four more cars here, and I think that should be it for the last of these cars. Um, but let's unbox them and take a look at what the rest of them I got. Alrighty, guys. So first up, we have the Union Pacific um, car here. This was actually one of the MTH um, releases for themselves. This is not a custom run. This is one that they did themselves from the cataloger or post, if you want to call it that, from their email. But here's the UP. Um, serves all the West, printed on the side. The printing here looks pretty good. Um, it's a little bit difficult because the these cars have like the um, the wood detailing, which I love. You guys know I'm a big fan of that. MTH does a great job with that detailing. I love that. It looks great. Um, but on the ends of the car, they are metal. But you can see the metal bracing here is printed in with the grab irons here. It looks great. I love on these cars that has like the roller details here on the side. Um, where the door kind of rides on. Um, it's a little bit difficult to open here. Um, but I'll do it on the other side. But anyway, 
Um, those are your roller details down there, which look pretty cool. Your trucks are typical MTH trucks. And the cool part is once you flip it around, it's different. You have the road of the streamliners on here. On the other side, which is pretty cool, it's like a um, two different cars in one kind of thing, I guess, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, really neat. I like that script font there. It looks really cool. Very classy almost. And here's the door that opens. It's a little bit difficult, a little bit tight, but the door does open. I'll play with that later. Um, sometimes these doors get stuck. But here's the other side of the car with your brake wheel and uh, stand detail and ladder detail, which looks great. And some roof detail as well. You have a wooden walkway with a metal roof, which looks really cool. And then here is the underneath car with that. It is really cool, different um, structure, you know, I-beam structure here, which looks really cool. It's a lot different from a lot of the other cars or other box cars that MTH makes. Um, and again, wood, wood frame detail or wood floor detail as well. And then you have your tanks and chains and pipe detail, which looks really cool. Um, so yeah, great looking car from MTH. Um, this will go with the big boy. There you go. There you go. There's the door open all the way. Sometimes they get caught in these rollers because the rollers actually do. The rollers are actually functional. They're part of the door mechanism, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, great car. So I really like this one. So go great with the big boy. Or the new Challengers that they just released. So I'm excited for that one. Um, but yeah, really nice car. Let's check out the other ones. Alrighty, guys. Next up, we have the absolutely gorgeous, stunning Cherokee Brewery um, box car here. This is a custom run done by Patch Trains. And the second I saw this online, I pre-ordered it just because this car is just gorgeous. There are so many different colors going on here. Um, you, the car, so, I mean, just look at it. The car itself is like a nice creamy white color. You know, of course you have the red, red stripe down the side with that cool Native American down there. Um, you know, the green door, the brown roof. This car just looks amazing. Um, let's zoom in for the closer look at the detailing on the door. Looks very nice. Again, it's the same detail as the uh, UP car and the, uh, you know, all the detail is the same, of course, pretty much on all the cars, but just the color, the print on these are amazing. Um, you can see there's a little bit of like a smudge there where the roof meets the uh, side of the car there, but I mean, it is what it is. These are hand painted. Sometimes I guess stuff slips through the cracks, I guess. So it is what it is, but, um, yeah, very nice car. Um, as you can see on mine, unfortunately, MTH didn't glue some of the roller detail down there. Um, I have all of them. They just kind of fell off in the car or fell off in the box. Um, so I'll just have to glue those. I mean, kind of frustrating, but I mean, like I said, stuff happens. So it's not the end of the world. But I mean, just for the sheer beauty of this car, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, I'll just re-glue them. It's not a big deal. But just take a look at this car. The paint on this is stunning. detail everywhere i feel bad forever or if this was hand painted i feel bad forever i had to hand paint this i'm not really sure how they do it but yeah just an awesome looking car great detailing like i said i'll just super glue those rollers not the biggest deal in the world but yeah amazing beautiful car look at that paint that is awesome. I'm so glad I got this one. This will look great going down the rails. That's so cool. Alrighty, so these next two were kind of like impulse buys, if you want to call it that. Um, of course, this is the Rutland car. This is a custom run done by, um, ah, now I'm drawing a blank. Uh, it's the store in California. I'll think of it later. Um, but this is the Rutland car. This was, like I said, a a last minute kind of thing. Um, I didn't even know that they were making these until I saw some pictures online. But of course, this is a car at Strasburg. Um, and of course, with 89 here now, <clears throat> at the time of this recording, it'll be here in a few days, which I'm very excited about. Um, I jumped on this just because I needed some Strasburg cars to go with my 89. Um, so yeah, this is the Rutland car. 
Um, I didn't get the Root of the Whippet one just because I couldn't find any more online from her. Uh, it's Beth over at... Uh, what the heck is it? Anyway, it's... I'll think of it later, but... Um, <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, so they didn't have the Root of the Whippet one, but uh, I did manage to get the Rutland one, which is, I'll take it. Um, unfortunately, this one is missing that roller bearing down here as well. Uh, I don't know, MTH must be slacking in the factories, I guess. I mean, it's a, I mean, we'll see what happens, see if they can fix it for me. But, um, but yeah, I couldn't find any more online with the Root of the Whippet one, so I just snagged this Rutland one. It'll do the job. I mean, it'll still look good and everything, so... Yeah, this is the Rutland one. Looks pretty cool. Kind of plain, but if you're collecting Strasburg, I guess you gotta have it. So yeah, snag this one too. Nice detailing. Alrighty guys, last but not least, you know we had to get it. It's the Strasburg Railroad car. Um, another custom run done by the Public Delivery Track. I remembered it. Um, totally didn't look at my receipt, but yeah, of course, Here's a Spratt Strasburg run. I was able to snag one. Um, of course, like I said, with 89 on the way, had to get some Strasburg cars and didn't plan on getting this one, but I was like, you know what? Might as well get some Strasburg rolling stock. They had some left, so I got it. So this one, fortunately, has all the rollers in intact, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool car. Strasburg Railroad. Printed on the side. Very nice detailing. Pretty simple, but not too bad. There's the end. Yeah. Nice. This will go cool with 89. So, pretty happy I got this one too. Alrighty, guys. Now this is going to wrap it up for the review of these mth premier usr double sheath box cars um these are amazing cars great detailing you know when the rollers are you know there um i think i was calling them roller bearings too by the way i just realized that they're just rollers not bearings um but yeah really nice cars beautiful paint um very nice and crisp beautiful detailing um well worth the money especially if you're going to collect some strasburg stuff as well um but yeah i really like these cars look great um, so for the price, you can't beat it. Very nice cars from MTH. And I'm really glad I got these. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.